Welcome, Sam Scott. Russell winds it, feeds it back across, Chuck in, scores! Brady Kachuk makes it 2 0. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon Plant and I am your host. Tonight, Ottawa took on the Tampa Bay Lightning in game number three on the year, the second game at home, as yesterday Ottawa took on the Philadelphia Flyers in the home opener, taking them down 5-2. Now keep in mind that score, it's a little bit of a teaser, just keep in mind the score of 5-2. Once again, just a little bit of a teaser. Now anyways, uh, like I just said, Ottawa took down the Flyers 5-2 in the home opener yesterday. They're looking to go back-to-back wins at home to start the year. They're taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning tonight, and the Lightning have a lot of, we'll call it, turmoil in their lineup. Firstly, Steven Stamkos, one of the best players in the National Hockey League, and of course for the Tampa Bay Lightning, did not play tonight with an upper body injury. As well, Austin Watson makes his first start against the Ottawa Senators since signing with Tampa Bay. He did get a tribute midway through the game, which is well-deserved. I have so much respect for Austin Watson. Love Waddy, absolute warrior. Great to see him, of course, with another NHL team. Um, And as well, we all know about the Goaltending struggles the Tampa Bay Lightning are dealing with right now. Andre Vasilevsky is on the IR, which means uh, gives an opportunity here for some lesser known players to get an opportunity, like Matt Tompkins, who was drafted 199th overall by Chicago 11 years ago. So, congratulations to Matt Tompkins, who, by the way, started for Canada at the 2022 Olympic Games. So, um, just an incredible journey here for Matt Tompkins to get to the National Hockey League finally. We always love to see stories like that. So congratulations to Matt Tompkins. Uh, as well, for Jonas Corposalo, he's your starter for the Ottawa Senators tonight, making his first start at home uh, in the Senator Black. Uh, obviously, I'm not wearing black here, but he's wearing the Senator Black and gold and red. And as well, the rest of the lineup otherwise remained the same. Now, let's get to the first period of play. And seven minutes in, Ottawa is cooking in the first five or so minutes, automatically outshooting Tampa Bay quite a bit. It's like 7 8 nothing in terms of shots in the first seven minutes. And it finally pays off as Ridley Gregg, with an unreal between the legs pass, after knocking down a point shot, he finds a Terror Sank show who puts it home. Ottawa leads 1 0 as Vladdy has his first as an Ottawa Senator, and the Sens lead through 20 minutes of play, 1-0. What a nice, nifty pass here from Ridley Gregg between the legs. You already know Brady Kachuk is so, so proud of Ridley Gregg for pulling off uh, the between-the-leg pass there. And, of course, for the Terra Sink show, by the end of this game, he has four points in his last two games. But that's his first as an Ottawa Senator in terms of goals. So congratulations to Vladdy. Great pass from Ridley Gregg. After 20 minutes of play, Ottawa leads 1-0. They outshot Tampa Bay astronomically 17 to 3 were the shots through 20 minutes of play but we all know what that means we saw this so often last year where Ottawa would get off to a great start they wouldn't really capitalize on those opportunities would only maybe be up by one which is fine but not good enough and then you know they would give up the lead and probably lose that game we saw that so often last year and uh, it kind of felt like that was going to be the same thing going into today's game after that first period of play because one minute into the second period of play my goodness Tom Shabbat we'll talk about him after the game but Tom Shabbat lets Sorelli beat him to the net Radish forces a pass through Chikorin and we're tied it's 1-1 just an inexcusable goal there from uh, supposedly the Ottawa Senator top defensive pairing Um, they've just not looked good in the last few games Chikorin looked great you know the last two three games I'm not gonna lie last game he looked fantastic on both ends of the ice especially offensively but Shabbat especially just hasn't looked great and is really dragging back Chikorin in my opinion uh, maybe that's because you know of course Shabbat's playing on his offside I don't know it's not working we'll talk about it after the full game recap but it is really concerning to see how Tom Shabbat has started this year no doubt about it regardless Ottawa you know it's not the same old same old sense there's expectations we you and I we expect this team to make the playoffs they've brought in some key acquisitions to make that happen so they're not going to sit back and just let the lead evaporate they're not going to just let this game slip away from them no Brady Kachuk is going to bring this team on his back and bring them back into this game as Claude Giroux's pass to Brady Kachuk he shoots it it you know deflects off Rash's skate and of course Brady Kachuk does not take no for an answer he walks home the ricochet 2-1 sends as Ottawa is up by one once again a good response here from Ottawa but even with all this positive momentum and Brady Kachuk carrying this team on his back Tampa Bay 
ties it again. It's 2-2. And Cheneau buries the rebound. Shabbat leaves SMO alone. He feeds Cheneau in front. Chikrin missed Cheneau. Shabbat leaves Esamont alone out front. Just can't happen. Uh, 72 and 6. Shabbat and Chikrin continue to play poor defensively. And it's a tie game. It's 2 2. And I mean, we'll talk about this later. Uh, Chikrin's definitely to blame on this goal as well. You have to have net front presence. But how is Tom Shabbat letting the Tampa Bay player? Easily walk in to feed that pass. I mean, it just can't happen. That's back-to-back -back goals in less than 15 minutes where Thomas Shabbat was just watching a guy drive to the net both times in which that puck ended up in the back of the net. So it's now 2-2. But like I said, this is not the same old, same old send. Six minutes later, it's Matthew Joseph. He does not want to go anywhere. Matty Joe, 3-2 sends. He snaps a loose puck over the left shoulder of Tompkins. And Ottawa goes in the second period intermission. Up by a goal. It's 3-2 Senators. And Tarasenko draws another point here with an assist. Uh, blocked the pass there. The Tampa Bay defender did. But of course, Matty Joe takes care of business. Cleans up the rebound. We're going into the third period of play. Up by a goal. And by the way, a uh, little bit of a trade-on-trade -trade kind of crime here. Uh, Matthew Joseph used Nick Paul in front of Tom Tompkins as a screen to get that goal. So a great job there from Joseph to get that snapshot and to give Ottawa the lead going to the third period of play. Now going into the third period, Ottawa has scored the first goal in both games this year. Of course, are 1-1 one one when doing so, looking to go 2-1 and one when doing so. And the third period of play nonchalantly starts back and forth action. Not much happening. Corpusalo making some big saves. I don't want to hear anyone complaining about Corpusalo, by the way. He did his job, looked very good tonight. Uh, you know, once again, the defense in front of him let him down. He made some big stops, especially in that third period, especially in the first 10 minutes of that third period of play when Tampa was pressing. And then with just under seven minutes to go, Jake Sanderson from behind the goal line with an unreal stretch pass to El Capitano, break a chuck along center ice. Kachuk powers his way to the net and buries it for second of the night. El Capitano, what a selly. And Ottawa leads by two again. It's four two Senators. It's back-to-back -back two goal games for El Capitano, Brady Kachuk as the sends lead for the two my goodness break a chuck i mean this guy is unstoppable an absolute freak of nature and then with a couple minutes left tim stutzla empty net goal corpusalo his first point as an ottawa center as the sends win five to two over the tampa bay lightning that's back to back five two w's back to back games with kachuk scoring two goals i don't know what it is a lot of coincidences right now i don't care i don't mind it a win is a win is a win and that's back to back wins for the ottawa Sanders. That's four massive points against Eastern Conference teams. And guess what? On the penalty kill tonight, Matthew Joseph continued to look great. But Parker Kelly and Rourke Chardier really stood out to me tonight, especially in the first half of the game. Parker Kelly especially uh, offensively looked good as well. Got a couple opportunities. Hit the post once as well. Joseph also hit the crossbar a couple times. But Chardier, Kelly, and Joseph continue to look great. And I've seen a lot of people discuss this on Twitter. I'm going to bring it up now. Should the Ottawa Sanders trade Dominique Kubelik instead of Matthew Joseph? He would free up enough space, theoretically, to bring Shane Pinto back into the fold. And, you know, I love Dominique Kubelik. I think he's a great player, a compliment player for that second power play wave, especially for that third line. But he's not a, he's a one-dimensional player. He's not a two-way type of guy like Matthew Joseph. Um, and, you know... With Joseph on multiple more years, that's why, you know, teams are asking for a first, like Philadelphia wants a first, or like a Ridley Gregg with him, which is obviously insane. Kubelik is also a free agent after this year. He's unlikely to resign. It might make the most sense to trade him, to be honest with you, and I think the biggest hesitancy of doing so is the fact that we got him for Alex to bring cap, but that really shouldn't matter. What should matter is bringing Pinto back into the fold, as fans again tonight were chanting, we want Pinto. Um, so I think any way you can do that, you have to do it. And right now, Joseph is giving Pierre Dorian really no choice but to keep him because he's so good defensively on the penalty kill and offensively going into camp and the preseason, he was doing very well. But now that's two goals in his last three games, both five on five. Um, he's been really putting in a great effort here. And um, in my opinion, I know it's a short sample size, but Matthew Joseph last year, I think it was a one-off. He was injured, uh, inconsistency um, in terms of being in the lineup didn't help him. I think he's going to have a bounce back here, whether it's with us or somebody else. And you know what? Especially with the fact that even if he's not contributing a lot of points, defensively, this guy is so valuable. You got to keep him around. He's not one-dimensional like Kubelik. Um, so whatever you can do to bring Pinto back, you have to do it. So I guess you got to trade Kubelik. 
Um, but I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about that. It's a hot debate right now on Sense Twitter. It really, really is. Now, Corpusalo tonight, as I kind of alluded to, looked pretty good. Early on, a little shaky, I guess you can call it. But the defense in front of him really didn't do him any favors. Shabbat especially. Um, he stopped 22 of 24. He did his job. Look, once again... Forsberg or Corpusalo, no matter who's in the net, the Sens have a good chance to win. Corpusalo gets his first win as an Ottawa Senator in front of the hometown faithful, so you love to see that. And a great performance from Corpusalo, especially in that third period of play. A couple of massive glove snags. Now, uh, we're going to talk about the defense here. Uh, Tom Shabbat just looks lost. Both goals tonight for Tampa Bay were due to him losing his man. You just can't have it, especially when you're making $8 million and you're the player on this team with the most... Uh, games as an Ottawa Senator. He's the leading player on this team for games played wearing this beautiful, beautiful crest. So because of that, you just can't be making these mistakes. And, you know, in the first game against Carolina, him and Chikrin both didn't really look comfortable. I just chalked that up to rust. But yesterday's, well, I didn't notice it too much because I was at the game. But I, did, I do know he wasn't playing his best. And then today, once again, he's just not looking good, looking a little disinterested. And once again, Two goals where literally he was just beat to the net. I mean, you just can't do it. So uh, it's still early. I'm not panicking, but I am concerned without a doubt. I think, you know, if this continues for the next few games, you probably should consider breaking up Chikra and Shabbat. I think, you know, Shabbat's a fantastic player and he's been looking great offensively, but defensively, he just does not look good comfortable he really just does not look comfortable at all um so maybe it's because he's on the offside i don't know but shabbat really noticeably looks terrible and um i think he's a fantastic player so i don't know what's going on i still think there's plenty of time for that to be worked out but it's certainly something concerning here in the first three games of the year now brady kachuk will finish it off with this el capitano i mean this guy is such a beauty what a blessing for the city of ottawa on and off the ice um, four goals in his last two games. Dude is a literal mutant. I mean, there's no one in the NHL like Brady Kachuk, except maybe his brother, Matthew Kachuk, who's a mutant in his own right as well. So this guy literally carries his team on his back. His sallies are unprecedentedly hype. I mean, this flexing, the big, uh, you know, uh, slingshot. I mean, Brady Kachuk is such a beauty. Uh, and Ottawa is so lucky to have him. So a great game here for Kachuk in the Sens. We're now 2-1-0 on the year. Back-to-back -back victories, four points in. Uh, six potential points in total uh so two out of three wins it's a great way to start off the year let's keep it rolling in the next game against the washington capitals on wednesday at seven o'clock eastern time a few days off here we'll see what happens maybe shane pinto is signed before that but uh regardless look sends are off red hot now back to back huge wins 10 goals in the last two games four of which are from kachuk which is absolutely insane but a massive win a necessary win um and now ottawa can keep on rolling and hopefully make it three in a row make it official winning streak on wednesday against the cap so besides that i will see you all then thank you all for watching i'll see you all soon go sends go